Nick Ricada is a very sad YouTuber on a very sad decline. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. 2024 promises to be a beautiful disaster. Don't make resolutions. Set goals. Pursue life. Be ridiculous. Find joy. Life is a current. Ride with it. Or swim your way. <laughs> Just choose consciously. Consciously. You know, I struggle to read this because halfway through this lovely, lovely little piece, I'm reminded that person who is uh, winning on who should become the lol cow of the year. You know, reading anything, any life advice from Nick Ricada doesn't seem like the best idea, at least not in 2023 or 2024 or possibly even 2025 assuming he isn't in a grave by then it is thanks to these bad unfortunate events and bad life decisions that i'm able to do my ricada fridays where we go and we cover nikki the nose in all his glory it is every friday 8 30 central time and yeah, think of it as a smorgage board of a loggings of nick ricada if you'd like to contribute, you know, we shoot me a message on Twitter and we'll see if it makes the docket. But it's really things like this that really make the docket as well. Where the marriage between Ricada slowly but surely started hitting the decline. Got News Network reports Nick Ricada, a YouTube lawyer and alcoholic who is married with children, has been catfished over the last year and a half by a man older than himself. And that person is name Mandy. Mandy is a well-known member of Ricada's Locals, which is a Patreon-style site owned by Rumble, where members can post and participate. The night Mandy posted her nudes to Locals about seven months ago, Ricada, a married man, professed his love. Credit to Elisa Clip, she does God's work. Camelot, hey, do you know Mandy? Yeah. Mandy's How can someone not know Mandy? There's nice tits. Manny is yeah, so does. fucking gorgeous. Would eat that ass. <laughs> oh my god. Mandy, if I was single, if I were single, Mandy, you would never be single again. Mandy, if I were not married, girl, I would wreck you. I would save you. I would do whatever. <laughs> On Earth, I would do whatever on Earth to praise you. The, these weird guys who are like, "Oh, you're you're too depressed or whatever." No, stop it. But what if you had you were on the MDMA and then your PP? I don't need Kimla. I don't need MDMA from what Mandy. What if PP was trying Mandy, to get Mandy? Mandy is so goddamn hot. Mandy is fucking phenomenally hot. Let's Mandy is up. so hot. Mandy, if you come to Matsuri, I oh. will not say a goddamn word. Oh. I don't I won't <laughs> say anything. I'm a I'm a Christian trad whatever. Lady Rackets will tell you that you are a fucking fire. I don't need to say a goddamn word. So Mandy. You won't, you won't eat her ass if she comes to Matsuri. Let's not go too far, Camelot. I will. You shut your mouth. Uh, you shut your mouth because no, Mandy is Mandy's fantastic. She's cool. She's base. She's hilarious. She's talented. And listen, Mandy is gorgeous. She's a gorgeous woman. And Lady Rackets would fucking fawn over Mandy. Mandy, these these dudes that are letting you down. These people. That are fucking hurt, like that are harming your life, relationship, whatever. They're garbage. You're a fantastic, wonderful person, and uh, you don't need any of this validation at all. Mandy, you're you're fantastic. You're great. I love you. You're fan. You're 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 fucking wonderful. I will look. I'm married. I'm a humble, wonderful man. I will never have sex with you or whatever. Uh, but. Plenty of people would, and anyone who wouldn't is fucking retarded. Oh, Mandy, you came and you teased with the picture. 
Now fucking go to bed, oh Mandy. Drink time. More about Mandy, including pretending to be a Hooters waitress mechanic, a non-practicing lawyer, a gamer girl who would pose blurry, obscured photos that couldn't even be image searched, yada, 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 during the Locals exclusive stream. On October 26, 2022, Rakeda encouraged Mandy to post a topless photo, which Rakeda then deleted. It wouldn't be spread. However, Mandy would not be denied his attention and posted other versions of the photo elsewhere. So as you can see, yeah, a trajectory downhill from here. Again, I plan to go over all this on our great Rakeda Fridays, but this is only one of the reasons Rakeda has had these weird moments of decline. It is quite unfortunate, yet you don't really feel bad for this guy. Again, considering he's been a piece of shit to literally everybody throughout the years. I don't know, whenever, I, I, f I think that it's unanimously approved by the internet that whenever somebody is a piece of shit to just almost everybody, including people you call your friends, you're by nature, karma, allowed to have bad things happen to you. And to be fair, nothing really over the top bad per se has happened to Rakeda. The only bad that seems to come from this is his lack of parenting, the bad example he's setting for his children, such as cross-dressing for money, and once again being an alcoholic. There's other questionable things, such as his marriage, and how he's managing to fuck that up. The really concerning bit would be involving Drexel. That story, well, if you know, you know. His networking seemed to be going down the drain as well. Oftentimes he goes into nonsensical rambles that only rival Joe Biden. And in these rambles, he complains about other YouTubers and how they're not honest like he is. Despite him singing a different tone, like not even maybe a year ago. Possibly three weeks ago. It varies from YouTuber to YouTuber, but the way he does these frequent 180s and then goes on to profess that he is the one true person that you should trust. Meanwhile, there's an entire clip channel cataloging why you can't trust him and not even doing it in a dishonest way like other people have done so in the past. There is no context taken. These are Nick Ricada's nonsensical ramblings definitive statements on a regular basis that most people don't have the time or patience to deal with because he's either a snooze fest or other people have just better things to do with their day to day. But Rakeda has become such a frequent contradiction in his life that any time anybody gets a good clip of him, it's just gold at this point. I fully encourage people to clip and A-log the hell out of Nick Ricada, and I'm not the only one. I'm just the most vocal of it. Because guess what? I don't personally give a fuck about networks. Uh, the thing is, most people, most YouTubers rather, they want to abide by the rule of optics need to be perfect and my network. I've never done things that way. Try them a couple times. Definitely not my cup of tea. Given that all the dishonesty there is enough to make me want to pull all my hair out. Now I can't take the fucking politics of the damn thing. It's very annoying. It gets very tiresome. Some people would just shut up and take the money, which is one of the things or one of the copes rather that Rakeda's audience, dwindling audience has left. Oh, he's getting money in super chats, pal. Look at his age. Look how he has aged and look at the alcoholic tendencies that he's picked up along the way. If you want to lie to yourself and say that that is how a happy man acts, well, you're free to do that as you help Nick get to an earlier grade by enabling his behavior and giving him money. No sweat off my back. Why would I care about a random internet drunk? If anything, you, the enablers that are giving him all this money, are doing even better work. Or not so much good work because then if Rakeda, you know, hits the hay, kicks it, kicks the bucket, well, who are we gonna A-log then? I'd like Rakeda to stay as healthy as humanly possible for whatever time he has left. Because judging by his alcoholism, God knows that it probably isn't much longer. You think that's morbid? I'm just being realistic. Compared to all the fucked up shit Rakeda has said about people he doesn't like in the past, which are very 
questionable to say the least, and leads me to thinking that he possibly maybe wants to be terminated. Yeah, me being a little morbid and realistic isn't really anything. At least anything that would make anybody's panties go in a bun. As a general statement of what's going on with Nick, in general update, things have not gotten better, they've only gotten progressively worse. But hey ho, at least we get a fun show every Friday, once again, 8.30 Central, Rakeda, Nikki the Nose, Fridays. I'll see you all there. Oh, by the way, make sure you support the channel by picking up a membership. Best way to support the demonetization on this channel, meaning the limited ads basically, is to become a member. There's also a couple other reasons why that is, but I explained that on the actual stream. Anyway, pick up a membership, support the channel, and long live the A-logging of Nicholas Robert Ricada.